Hello, everyone, and welcome to First Coast Living. I'm Casey DeSantis. Long before she became the first lady of Florida, Casey DeSantis was a fixture in many Floridians' homes. She was an anchor and reporter for two Jacksonville, Florida TV stations. But she left it all behind to raise her children and help support her husband's run for governor of Florida. I was going to take a break from the show. Yeah. I was going to be able to spend time with my family. Casey DeSantis was born in Ohio as Jill Casey Black. She's a golf enthusiast and equestrian who graduated with an economics degree from the College of Charleston in South Carolina. She first met Ron DeSantis on a golf range at the University of North Florida. So I kept looking over my shoulder because I wanted, you know, the bucket of balls that somebody had left. Ron's over there, and so he thinks I'm looking at him. Was there an attraction at all to him? Yeah, of course, he was cute. The couple married in September 2009 at the Walt Disney World Resort. In 2010, Casey worked as a host for the PGA Tour, appearing on the Golf Channel. A couple years later, Ron DeSantis was elected to Florida's 6th Congressional District, the start of his political career. Ever since, Casey has reportedly been part of a very tight inner circle, relying on her TV experience to advise her husband on media strategy and appear in campaign ads, including this memorable one from 2018. Build the wall. He's teaching Madison to talk. Make America great again. If you want to know who Ron DeSantis really is. More recently, Casey recorded this campaign ad for her husband, focusing on how he helped her after her 2021 diagnosis with breast cancer. She's now cancer free. He was there to pick me off of the ground when I literally could not stand. He was there to fight for me when I didn't have the strength to fight for myself. That is who Ron DeSantis is. When she isn't busy with their three young children, Casey DeSantis can be found at her husband's side on the campaign trail. Ron, again, I want you to know is running for the right reasons, not because he wants to be somebody, it's because he wants to do great things. In the aftermath of Hurricane Ian, where the disaster relief fund she oversees brought in upwards of $50 million. All I can say is, you know, our hearts and our prayers are with so many people who are suffering, uh, which is why about 24 hours ago, uh, we launched the disaster relief fund. And of course, on election night this week, as he basked in the glow of his reelection victory, the governor shining a spotlight on his wife. And most important of all, thank you to the greatest first lady in all 50 states. For being a great wife, giving unwavering support, being a tremendous mother uh, to our three young children. She is remarkable.